Hello everyone! So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a briar breast collar. These are actually really easy and straightforward to make, and in my opinion, they're one of the quickest pieces of tack to make, so they're great for beginner projects. But without any further ado, let's get started. So what you're going to need for this project is some type of leather or leather cording, or you can actually use really whatever you want. Just look online and look for pictures and they are they have so many different types, so you can really use whatever you have on hand. Some jump rings and a lobster clasp. Some type of thin wire that's strong. I like to use um, paper clips and this is to form a, form a buckle. Um, so paper clips are really useful for this because they're thin but really strong and they won't bend out of shape. So I like to use those some type of glue, and your appropriate tools such as pliers and scissors and maybe something to write with. Now obviously this is a pretty detailed one that I made, but I used the exact same process I'm going to show you in the video, and I'm just going to be using leather cording. This is a faux suede cord I got at Walmart. So the first thing you have to do is measure how long you need your strips of leather to be. To do that, measure from the middle of the chest here to where it attaches on the saddle. If you have followed my saddle tutorials, they will have the, um, uh, I have no idea what that's called, where it attaches to the saddle. Um, it will be in there, or just make sure your saddle has a place for it to attach to. So just measure it from the center of the chest to this point, and then you have to add extra. So obviously we need extra so we can glue things together, so you want about a thumb's width or so of extra for that. But then you also need extra to decide how much movement you want it to have. For example, I left quite a bit of extra here because I wanted it to be able to fit a large variety of models. So I could have cut it a lot shorter here, but I left quite a bit extra so that way it could fit a much larger horse as well. So you just have to decide if you want it to specifically fit one horse or if you want it to fit a whole bunch. And you will need to cut two of those, one for each side. Next, you have to hold the, next, the, la the second piece to the center of the chest as before, and this time bring it down to the girth. This one you want to pull tight as well, and then leave some excess. In the end, you should have three pieces, and one of them should be a bit longer than the other two. So the next thing you're going to need is a jump ring, and you're simply going to glue the end of each one of these pieces to the jump ring. The next thing we're going to do is make some tiny buckles. If you want an in-depth tutorial on how I make pretty realistic looking buckles, I show you how to in my Briar Cowbell video, so I'll link that in, in the description as well as my saddles. But a simpler way to do it is to take your pliers. I have round nose pliers, square shaped ones are much better for this. But you just take it and hold it in your pliers, like this, then bend up and around, like that, and then straight down the side, and then up this side, and then back to the beginning right here. So you basically just hold them and then bend them right around your pliers. Like I said, if you don't want it to be round like this, then you should use square nose pliers not round ones, but this is the basic buckle. But no matter how you choose to make your buckle, you just have to make sure that whatever you are using to make the rest of the breast collar will slide in and out easily. Make sure it's loose enough that it slides through without a whole lot of tugging or pushing or anything, but not too loose that it just slides around once it's on there because that's not even going to hold it in place. It should look something like this, and then all you have to do is make a second one. Once you have your two buckles finished, all you have to do is thread them onto the pieces of leather that will be attaching to the saddle. So just thread them on like that. Next you have to glue another jump ring to the bottom piece of the breast collar. In order to do that, you're going to have to remeasure it just to make sure everything fits properly. So just hold it where you want it to be and then measure the bottom piece like this. 
once that's all measured and cut, you can just glue on your jump ring. Just take your pliers and open up the bottom jump ring and slide on a lobster clasp. Then all you have to do is take it and put it on your briar to do the final fit. Just adjust the buckle and then slide it onto the piece of the saddle. Once it's on, make sure it's in the right spot. Adjust the buckle again so it's close enough to the jump ring and then thread it back through the buckle. And of course I managed to make it a little too tight so it sits a little weirdly now, but it's not that big of a deal, I think. Oh, I guess it's not too bad now. <laughs> but that's all you have to do. It's really easy, it's a really quick piece of tack to make, and it's a lot of fun because you can have all sorts of designs on it with all sorts of materials. I like to just look on Google and find some fun ones and then make those. They can be really fun to make and it doesn't take long at all. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I will see you in the next one. Thank you for watching. Bye.